In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get access to the new Firefly Adobe AI. The first thing that you want to do is that you want to go on firefly.adobe.com. You are then going to see this page and you're going to be able to see all the features that are currently available in the beta version. What you want to do is that you want to click here on request access button. You are going to be redirected to this uh, form down here. In this beta version, you will get to try features. We are developing, including text effects, text to image, and more. Connect with our product team to ask questions and provide feedback. Shape the future of Firefly for everyone. They also mentioned that please complete this form to request access. We will be sending out invites gradually over time. We will email you instructions and how to get started once you have been given access. Important thing here is that you need to have an Adobe ID and be 18 or older to participate. If you need an Adobe ID, you can create one following these instructions. Here, remember, this is from an Adobe employee. She writes that you must have an Adobe ID associated with the email address you provided. If that's not the case, it's not going to work. So the first thing you want to do is that you want to open this link on a new tab. And if you don't have the uh, Adobe ID, you are going to create one. The first step is to go to this page and here you click on new user, create an account. I'm going to use Google. I was redirected to accept their uh, terms. So I'm going to hit accept and continue. And just like that, I have created an account which is two clicks. So what you want to do is that you want to go to edit your profile, scroll down and here in this section, you're going to see your primary email or in other words, your Adobe ID. So for me, it's the Gmail uh, that I used in when I was registering. You then want to go back to this survey and you want to start filling it out. Here you want to use the email that you have in your account and is shown as your Adobe ID. You then want to choose the country and here they are asking you a question in the past 12 months have you done any of the following activities so here i would recommend you to choose at least some to make it look like you are actually really interested in using the product i pick all of them and i would recommend you to pick all of them as well and the last thing they are asking about is that what do you currently use or want to use generative ai for here you should type something related to the answers that you have just picked so here, what I type down is that I'm interested in using generative AI for photo and image editing, graphic design, web and app design, layout design, 3D design, and immersive experiences, creating visually appealing presentations and documents, as well as generating original content for social media. You wanna make the answer a little bit longer and kind of related to what you have just picked here. And then what you have to do is you click on the next page button and just like that you are set and so they are writing thank you for signing up to try out adobe firefly we'll be sending out invites gradually over time we'll email you instructions on how to get started once you have been given access let's check if i have received any email and i have actually received email just when i signed up the email is saying thanks for your interest in adobe firefly we have received our application for the adobe firefly program and we are working hard to get you access. We have received a lot of interest in joining the Firefly beta. Users are being admitted on a rolling basis and we will notify you via email if you are accepted. We know you are super excited to get into the beta and we are eager to hear what you think about Adobe Firefly. While you wait, here is our go-to list of resources. You can also join their Discord here. And there are actually people talking about how long it took them to get access. So it ranges from, you know, a few days to weeks. So for example, this person here is writing. Um, so the, for example, here, guys, in how much time did you get accepted to join the beta? And someone writes around four weeks. You can get more information by browsing the messages and seeing how long it took. But again, I've seen people getting access within a few days, and then I've seen people getting access within a few weeks. You are then going to receive email, and you just again follow the instructions to, uh, to start using the Adobe Firefly. And right now, I'm gonna show you an alternative while you are waiting to get access to Adobe Firefly. You might have heard that Canva currently offers free AI tools such as text to image as well as Magic Edit AI. 
These two tools are completely for free. You just have to create an account with Canva and then you can use them. On Canva Help Center, they are writing about the text to image AI feature. You can create up to 100 images daily. The daily limit has a long rolling window, which means it does not reset at a specific time every day. For example, if you generate three images at 10.30 a.m., these three uses will reset at 10.30 a.m. the following day. So it's not resetting at midnight. They also write that they currently don't make any copyright claims over the images you create with text to image. So you wanna go and for the sake of this video, let's go with YouTube thumbnail. You are going to go into the editor. You might not have the feature right here, but you go to apps and then you can type text to image, search for it, and then it should be the first one. You click on it and then you can use the feature. So here you type your prompt. They are recommending to include objects, colors, locations, surroundings, people, and so forth. If you click on this button, you can get different examples on how the prompt should look like. So let's go with this one, red painted cottage on a remote island. You can choose styles. And many people don't notice this, but you don't just get to choose from these six styles. You can click see all here and you get way more styles that you can choose from. In this case, let's go with the dreamy one. Next, you are going to choose your aspect ratio. So for this thumbnail, we are going to go with the landscape. So then when we resize it, it's going to fit perfectly. And then you just hit create your image. It is going to generate four different alternatives. So for example, if you click on this one, you can use it and resize it. Or let's look at this one. You can see that the images are pretty high quality. They look very similar to the ones that you have seen that Adobe Firefly can create. When you click on the image, it's also going to be automatically saved into the uploads in your images. I have a crash course on all the AI features that you can use completely for free and I'm going to link that video down below. And the second AI feature that you can use completely for free in Canva is called Magic Edit. So I'm going to quickly show you how that works. So what you can do with this is that you can remove any part of your image. So what you want to do is that you want to click on the image, then you click on Edit Photo. And then it's this one called Magic Edit. The first step is that you highlight and brush over the part of the image that you want to edit. Let's say that I would want to change these flowers into a car. So the second step is to type down what you want to replace it with. So I'm going to type down a car. You get some inspiration down here as well, but here we are going to hit generate. And then you again get four different options. So as you can see, it tried to generate a car at the place that I marked with the brush. I like this one, so I can go and hit done. And right now I have a new AI generated image that I have just edited with Magic AI. So as you've seen, this is kind of like a good alternative while you're waiting for the access to the Adobe Firefly. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this uh, quick tutorial on how you can get access to Adobe Firefly beta. Um, if you found this helpful in any way, then definitely like this video and consider subscribing for future crash courses, tutorials in the field of marketing. Thank you so much and have a great day.